struggles. There were times, days where I'm sitting in a room, there are seven Chinese people and me, seven Jewish people, Israelis and me, seven Indians from India and me, seven Koreans and me, right? Seven Japanese and me. And I would ask myself, when is it gonna be seven black folks and one other in the room, right? When, when is that gonna happen? Hakeem Olusheyi. It is spelled I T. Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Start over. Take two. All right. My name is Hakeem Olusheyi. Okay. So I'm Hakeem Muata Olusheyi. I am a professor of physics and space sciences at Florida Institute of Technology, also known as Florida Tech. It was a real serendipitous discovery of me to find Alphonse Sterling. Um, I, I began, I left California, I was working at Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, and I took a position in Northern Alabama. I was 50% um, with the university there, and 50% of my salary was paid for by NASA, Marshall Space Flight Center. And I interacted with the solar physics group at NASA, and Alphonse uh, spends most of his time in Japan, actually, although he's a NASA employee. Uh, I'm Alphonse Sterling. Um, I'm a solar astrophysicist and I'm uh, officially uh, employed by NASA, uh, Marshall Space Flight, Space Flight Center in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, I'm actually though living and working here in uh, Japan and that's where I'm at right now. Uh, that's uh, downtown Tokyo back there. So Alphonse, I ran into him at NASA and we began to chat and we had some common interests. And so I asked him if he would be interested in <clears throat> attending a conference I was organizing around the 2006 uh, total solar eclipse. The, um, the idea was that of my colleague, uh, Dr. Jarita Holbrook, she asked me to work with her to organize a, a session on solar physics and Alphonse was, is a great solar physicist. So I asked him if he would be interested in attending. Currently, I'm working on a, uh, a joint satellite project. The satellite observes the sun. It's called Hinode, launched in 2006. In November of 2012, my students and I will travel to Cannes, Australia to take scientific observations of the total solar eclipse. Now, uh, this year, 2012, is actually a very good one for solar eclipse uh, watchers. Um, there are a couple of different types of eclipses. This May, there will be an annular solar eclipse. And in fact, uh, the path where the uh, uh, moon will uh, totally fit inside of the disk of the sun, so where it will be a perfectly angular, angular eclipse, passes right over uh, Tokyo. So I hope to be able to uh, make observations uh, right here from my balcony of that event. Uh, one of the phenomena that I've been observing uh, over the years is solar eclipses, and I'm trying to use solar eclipse data to understand better some particular features in the solar atmosphere. Um, this, the next opportunity to do so will be this November when there will be an eclipse in uh, Australia that will pass through Australia. Uh, November of uh, 2012, and I hope to uh, make some observations with some colleagues to try and observe features we call plumes, which are uh, column-like column features that come out of the uh, solar polar regions. Alphonse is a wonderful guy, and so I love to pick Alphonse's brain. He has so much knowledge so about solar physics and the processes going on in the sun. I'll be working um, uh, during the uh, um, November eclipse with uh, Hakim. Uh, Hakim is a good buddy of mine and a great colleague. And so just to have a colleague uh, that I have this really strong kinship with in terms of science, in terms of our common educational goals, and you know we have some commonalities in our in our background that uh, allow us to um, have a, a tighter bond. And uh, Hakim uh, and I have worked on uh, solar eclipse observations together. Um, I also uh, find that he's a great buddy and um, he's really an excellent uh, person to discuss various scientific topics with too. When it comes down to it, science is a, a human activity and we're all humans and you want to uh, really enjoy the people that you work with.